Hello and in this video, we are going to learn how to create an infographic CV like this one that could help you stand out from the crowd and impress the recruiters even before you go for the actual interview yourself. Okay, so uh, let's get to it. Now first, let's go to PowerPoint and open a new blank presentation. Okay, now the default page orientation in PowerPoint is landscape. So let's go to design and change, go to slide size, custom slide size and change it to portrait instead. And for the slide size, let's change from widescreen to A4 paper. Because basically once we're done working on this infographic CV, then we are going to PDF it and then send it out to recruiters. And the default size is A4. Okay, now let's delete title and subtitle. We don't need that. Okay, now let's go to view and check on this option grid lines. So uh, what it does is that it will divide the um, slide into small equal squares. So it makes it a lot easier for us to determine the size and position of um, and to arrange images around it. Okay, now first let's insert a few shapes. Okay, now I'm going to shape fill and change the color to light gray and I'm going to press Control and drag to create a copy of this. Let's move this around. Okay, now we're ready to begin working on our infographic CV. Now first, Let's uh, begin by inserting a photo, a profile photo, this one. Okay, and I'm going to resize it. Now I'm going to picture style and click on this option over. But this one's got a little background in it, like a shadow, and I don't want that. So let's go to reset and select uh, no shadow. Okay, now let's go to picture border and change it to blue instead. And next, I'm going to add my name, text box. I'm going to make the text bigger. And then change, I'm going to change from the default Calibri to Rockwell because I like it and then make it bigger maybe 24 yeah this one will do okay change the shape effect to reset one to make it look nicer and here i'm going to edit text and put in my profession which is pr consultant Okay, now this looks a bit big, so I'm going to make it smaller. So this will do for now. Now, of course, once uh, we're done working on the infographic CV, then uh, we can always do the final uh, finishing touches and final adjustment at the end. Okay, so on this size, I'm going to add in my personal information, like phone, email, and website. Or you might uh, want to add in your uh, address. So text box. Now again, reformat it. Now next to the phone number, I'm going to add in a little phone icon to make it look nicer and if you're using um, Office 365 then there will be this icon button here which is which I find quite useful so I'm going to add in uh, to search for phone and it displays quite a fair bit of phone icons so I'm going to select this one
and then resize it okay and then you can do um, similar things for for the next fields like email and website so I'm going to fast forward this Okay, uh, for the second part, this is where I will put in a few career highlights. I'm a PR consultant, so I'm going to put in the number of projects that I have managed and my client satisfaction score, that's very important. Insert text box. Now, let's go to make it bigger, change the fat size as well. And then I'm going to change the color to blue to make it consistent. I'm going to use the eyedropper to make sure that it is the same shade of blue as the other parts of the document. Okay, so 200. Now let's insert a different text box. Project is managed. Okay, and then you can do the rest. I'm going to fast forward this. Okay, so next I'm going to add in my client satisfaction score. That's very important as a PR person. And then my years of experience. Okay, so that's done. Now next I'm going to add in a little bit about myself. So about me in three sentences. Just a few sentences to highlight who I am and what I do on a professional level. Okay, now next I'm going to add in a little bio, a mini bio, with just a few personal information like date of birth. And then uh, for each field, I'm going to use two different colors, black and blue, and then use different font size to distinguish and call out um, important information. Then same for nationality and last location. Next up is a section where I will put my career timeline. Okay, so career timeline. And here I'm going to go to uh, find new and then search for a timeline template. Now what it does is that it will uh, basically create a new uh, PowerPoint presentation, but we can always add in all the information that we need for the timeline and copy paste it to our existing you know, infographic CV. So for this timeline, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. So I'm going to delete the unwanted shapes and then add in the content in the text box on the left. I find it easier to do it this way because it doesn't cause formatting changes and it tends to be more stable. Okay, now let's copy this timeline to our infographic and resize it okay now i'm going to control a to select all the text and change it to rub well to make it consistent with the other parts of the um, infographic okay now i'm going to make some formatting changes i'm going to make all the companies that i work for blue Okay, now I'm going to move this up a little bit. And the nice thing about this infographic is that it, it's quite dynamic. It moves up and down with you. So the reason why I want to move it up a little bit is 
I want to distinguish between the companies that I work for as an employee and the companies that I work for for myself when I'm self-employed. Okay, so my career timeline is done. Next, let's add in education and skills. And first, let's uh, reuse um, the heading from the previous section. So let's education. And skills and next to education and skills let's put in a little icon so go to icon and for education I'm going to search for a degree icon okay this one looks nice now for skills let's Add in a skills icon. Well, there isn't any, so let's try an achievement icon and see what happens. Okay, so I think this one will do. Okay, so for education, I'm going to insert a little smart art. List. This is this one. I'm going to fast forward this a little bit. Now, next, I'm going to add in my top three skills. So the first one for a peer consultant could be copywriting. And for each of the skills listed here, I'm going to rate myself on a scale of 1 to 10. And I'm going to use a circle, a series of circles to rate myself. And let me show you what I mean by this. So insert, shapes, circle. Now shift and drag to create the circle. Now let's make it bigger. First one is here. Now control and drag. So that's two circle. Select both and then control and drag. And we have four. Now control and drag again. Six, eight, and ten. Okay, now let's select all of these ten circles. And then drag click and group it. And this will ensure that this set ten circles will behave as a group in the future. So we can move it up and down. And then for copywriting, actually I'm far from perfect, so I'm going to rate myself 8 out of 10. So for the last two circles, we're going to insert a different shape field. Do something for perfection. Okay, so next I'm going to add in the next two skills. So next, I'm going to add in language and uh, hobbies. For language, I'm going to use two color code, blue and gray, to illustrate my level of competencies. So first is English, and then my second language could be Vietnamese, which is my mother tongue. So the gray area will be smaller. And then for hobbies, I'm going to insert three icons for three hobbies. I think uh, having three hobbies is a perfect um, number. It shows that you are an interesting person outside work, but not too interesting so that it could impact your day job. And that's it. Our infographic CV is done. Now, all we need to do is to make some final formatting changes to it if you think that it is necessary to do so. And then go to File, Save As, and in addition to saving it as a PowerPoint presentation, uh, let's uh, go ahead and save it as a PDF file so we can send it out to external parties. And that's it. We have uh, created an infographic CV. 
uh, in just 10 to 15 minutes even if you are new to powerpoint it won't take you more than 20 or maybe 30 minutes at the very most and it looks visually attractive but it also looks very genuine it looks like it's something that you and me or anybody who knows a little bit of office and a little bit of powerpoint could have done uh, and it's not like we have hired a professional graphic designer to create it for us and as a recruiter and as an employer myself I could guarantee you that this type of CV will score higher in the hands of recruiters than a professionally formatted CV. So happy learning and see you in the next video.